In this video, we're going to be looking at adding transitions to slides, as well as adding a timing to the transitions. So when we talk about transitions, we are talking about the effect that appears when we move from one slide to another. So for this, we can go to the Transitions tab. Okay? And in this Transitions tab, we get a huge variety of options. And you can see we've got none, more, fade. It just takes time to play with them to see how they work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the transitions on here because I'm going to show you this cool new function that appears only in Office 2016 and in no previous one beforehand. So what we can do, right, let us change or add an effect here. Uh, let's use the concept of origami. Okay. We can choose whether it flies into the left, to the right, right? A duration, okay, how long it takes for that effect to take uh, place. And most importantly, this advanced slide. When it comes to doing presentations, the key advantage of using on mouse click means that you can change the slide when you are ready. Often I have seen where people have added advanced slide after so many seconds and some people have selected this option and only and have forgot to change or increase the time given for them to talk and often their PowerPoint presentation whether it be eight or nine slides only lasts around seven seconds because they haven't changed that effect so my suggestion when it comes to slides for advancing leave it on on mouse clip but if you want to use it change slide after so many seconds or minutes Okay, this here is the minutes option, uh, seconds option, there's the minutes. All right. My suggestion would be is time yourself when you talk. See how long it takes you to talk about the slide and get through all the relevant information before you apply that setting. All right, so I'm just adding on another effect here quickly. So I'm gonna choose random bars, I'm gonna play with the effects, I'm gonna choose the horizontal option, okay. So I'm going to show you what these look like when you play the presentation. So to view the presentation, we can do it in one of two ways. We can come down here with the slideshow option, which takes us into the slideshow from the very slide that we're looking at. We can also then press the F5 key on our keyboard. All right. But if we do that, it takes us straight to the very beginning. If we press Shift and F5, it takes us to the current slide that we are working with okay if not you can come up to you can come up to the slideshow tab and you go from beginning or current slide so here I'm going to step into the presentation there you go you can see that effect has taken place with the origami fold now I place those random bars onto this slide so the changes from the table to this slide using the random bars and then I spoke to you about the morph option, which is only available in 2016. When I access it and I activate it or apply it, this is how it works. It changes and moves everything around without creating some effect. So you can see that the images have increased, text has appeared. When I move to the next slide, everything moves back into place and the previous pictures come back. And then I move to the next slide, explaining the other planets. So this is a quite a lengthy process to do this. So what we have to do to, to make this effect work is we have to have copies of the original slide. So to make those copies, what we had to do was right click and duplicate our slide. Right? And then I had to go in and physically move all the planets and resize them for that effect to take place. So that is a final um, transition for you to play with. And that concludes the video on applying transitions and timing to our slides.